Hi there. This is Dr. John Whitcomb talking about plasmalogens and Parkinson's disease. This is really interesting because we may be getting down to the basically the gearbox of the human cell. So stick with me here. The story revolves around a chemical called MPTP, which was discovered in an unfortunate way. Some kids were trying to make synthetic heroin in California, oh, 20 some years ago, 30 years ago. And they came up with something that wasn't heroin. In fact, they all presented to the hospital with terrible Parkinson's symptoms. They had induced Parkinson's disease. And after a little bit of sleuth work and biochemical discovery, they figured out what the drug was, and they figured out it was a perfect model for inducing Parkinson's in animals, so we could study it. And what we found is it blocks complex A in your mitochondria. Well, complex A is where you, you absorb NADH and all of its protons and push those protons across the membrane, which is the beginning of the system of saving to make ATP. It's the first step in making ATP. You paralyze that, and it makes that NADPH back up. And when it backs up, it's got to get rid of those electrons, and it makes free racks of species all over the place. So you have boatloads and spewing out free oxygen, oxygen species, which damages the cell. Okay, now we have a model. We know where it works. So you can give mice or rabbits or monkeys, you can give them MPTP, they'll get Parkinson's. What's interesting is if you give them plasmalogens ahead of time, and then the MPTP, they don't get Parkinson's. If you wait five days after that, they still don't get Parkinson's. Suggesting that if you have adequate Parkinson's, even with oxidizing species around, you protect yourself. Okay, so all of us could protect ourselves from potentially getting Parkinson's. There's implications here. Now, there's one study from Japan in humans given plasmalogens, and they, within one month, showed improvement. And there's something wrong with that study because they only gave a milligram. They said, I think they gave a gram, not a milligram. But nevertheless, it all lines up. It all fits with the, per the, the chemistry and biology perfectly. It makes perfect sense. What will work for me? I have a grandfather who died of Parkinson's, so I got skin in this game. I don't want to get Parkinson's. I have a mother who had Alzheimer's. Well, Alzheimer's is horrible neurological disease number one, but Parkinson's is right a little bit right after, not as common, but still there. And if you live to be 85, you have a high, much, much higher risk. It doesn't show up in younger people, but it's a much, much higher risk as we get older. Okay, we don't want to get it. Well, you can measure your plasmalogens. You can go to prodrome.com and order the test. And you can replace it. Within two months, my levels were back to normal. I am back up to two standard deviations above normal. That's cool. You want the same for you. Now there's case reports on a one-on-one -on -one basis of people starting to take, people with early Parkinson's starting to take plasmalogens who've gotten dramatically better within a week. This is terribly exciting news. I am aching to see a randomized placebo control trial come out because plasmalogens are just food. It's generally recognized as safe. We don't have to pay big bucks for it. You don't, it's not a prescription. You don't have to go to a pharmacy. It can't poison you. Dr. John Whitcomb for News and Nutrition with a smile on my heart.